Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron with Aaron Picks and Stuff. Uh, I just picked up this Craig AccuCut. Um, it's used as a uh, jig for a circular saw. I used to have one that was uh, just made out of plywood, something simple that I built at home. Um, the advantage of it was that it was pretty easy to make. Um, I was at a job and cleaners came by at the end of the day, I guess, and threw it away, thought it was trash. So I picked this one up and I'm going to see if it, uh, how it works. I read some good reviews about it. Um, so I'm going to do a how-to video of how to set it up. It looks like on YouTube I haven't really found uh, any videos that make it pretty clear. So I'm going to try to do a step-by-step -step instruction um, and show how I do each step. And hopefully you find this helpful if you're in the market for one of these. Uh, so let's get started. Alright, so in the box are two 24 inch sections um, that get attached to each other. They have this black non-slip surface on the bottom which is nice because you don't have to clamp it down to the surface you're working on. Uh, it's pretty light. There's a starting point and then the sled. Um, and these two connect the two pieces of track. So I'm going to start by connecting the two pieces of track to each other. So. They have, on either piece, there's, can you see, the two arrows that should be facing each other, and they're going to connect to each other. So you start by putting it upside down, so with the black side up. And slide these in halfway. Then get the set screws. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver, which I'm going to run and get from the toolbox. So you just set these screws in first. Next, we're going to slide the two pieces together. Now, if you notice, this is not in their instructions, um, but there is a little bit of a play in this thing. Um, so to compensate for that, I recommend getting some sort of straight edge and making sure you're flush against it and then putting the other screws on because if there's a little bow in this when you're cutting, that's going to translate onto the piece of wood you're cutting. Alright, next we have, you see, this is a starting block and it just pops in and the way it's going to work is depending on if you have a right or a left uh, facing uh, blade, it would sit on two of the three of these channels over here. So next what we're going to do is we're going to put the saw onto this jig or sled. So the first thing they, set to, they say to do is to take off this piece over here. It has a nut on the bottom of it. And what this is going to do is later, once you have it set and you put your saw in, it's going to make sure that you have a consistent cut every time. And it can go on either side. Next, we're going to loosen up this screw a little bit. 
so that these turn. And now you're going to check on the edge of your saw. Some of these have a little bit of a kind of a slant up, and some are just flat. Depending on the type of saw you have, you might have to pop out this piece, which will either give it a slant or go in straight, depending on how you need it. And it just snaps back into place. So in our case, our saw has the blade on the left side. So we're going to put it in like this. Now they say that this is universal and it'll fit any saw. So the first thing I'm noticing right now with mine is that this gets in the way of the track of my saw. So I'm going to have to take this out and put it in this hole because it can be moved into any hole. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And based on your saw, it might just work straight out of the box depending on the model of saw you have. And you'll see there's a hole for the nut to go into. So it can go into either this one or that one or that one or that one. So let's give this a shot. And that's much better because now it fits all the way up. What I am noticing also is that I'm going to have to move this one to the middle one too, just because of where it's located. So I'm going to do that real quickly. And this is just a one time thing. Uh, you won't have to do this every time you're using it, which is nice. Again. So I first put this on to get it to sit on there. Next I lifted this and I kind of dropped the saw into this part. And now I'm seeing that the blade is just barely going to cut. If I drop it right here, the blade is just going to barely cut um, the blue. So we're going to have about that size that we're cutting off. So now that I know that I have a good fit, now I can close these. Tighten them. All right, so we have that tightened up. And then now I can put this piece, which will keep the blade or the saw exactly where I need it to be. All right, so what we do is we put the saw into the sled and then we put, we tighten down these screws and then we tighten down the set screws. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the sled into the track. Again, remember if you have, your, if your saw faces the other direction, it'll go in these two holes, but in my case, it goes into these. Um, and now that we're in, we're going to cut, remember we're going to shave down this to get our zero clearance. So what's going to happen right now is when we run the saw, the blade is going to cut a little bit of this blue off and now we're going to know next time exactly where the blade is to give us a true zero clearance. So once we have that, we're going to make sure that the saw indeed is the blade. Can you see the blade? The blade indeed is going to be cutting off a little bit of the blue over there, which is exactly what we want it to do. Okay, next we're going to set this gray piece. So I had to uh, modify it a little bit um, to get it to fit into my saw. Like I said, you might have to get a little creative because if you could put it in all the way, there was still some space between the, the, between the saw and this metal piece. So I just kind of flipped it a little bit, butted up against it and tightened the screw. So now I know that when I'm done with this, and I take these out, 
So now I can just take the slot saw out of the sled. And next time I want to use it, all I'll have to do is just slide it in, butt it up against here. Once I butt it up against here, I know that I'm exactly where I need to be. And then I'm going to tighten these two screws and I'll be good to go. All right, let's tighten everything up. Put a battery in and we're going to run it along um, and make our cut. All right, we have it all set up. Let's give it a shot. So you can see we cut all the we cut the blue. I know that I cut a little bit more than they say, but it's just because of how um, my saw is set up. It just wasn't fitting. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test cut on this piece of plywood um, and see how it works. my impression, I mean, it cut spot on exactly where we wanted it to cut. Um, gave a nice even cut. And it seems pretty square to me. Yep, that is as accurate as you can get. We're exactly square. So, my impression of this is it really does a good job. Say it again, sorry, I sneezed. My impression? My impressions, it really does do a good job. Um, my only negative feedback is it kind of takes a while to set the saw up on this uh, sled. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do, um, but once you do it once, you should be able to replicate your straight cuts uh, when you're done. Take, taking it off the sled shouldn't take too long. It's just opening this screw and opening that screw and then just pulling your saw out. And then you can go back to doing regular cuts. Um, and because we have this set in place, um, next time we need to replicate a cut, we should just have put it in the sled um, and run along with it. I'm going to test it just to make sure, so I'm going to reassemble it and make another cut and see how accurate it is. Safety first. All right, so just, if you're still watching the video, just a quick reminder, we're gonna put the saw into the sled. and butt it up against the stopper. So either way, whether depending on your, on your um, saw, it'll either be on this side or on that side. Um, once we're butt up against it, so we're butt up over here and up on the front. Now all we should have to do is tighten these screws and we should be good to go and we'll test that right now. nice thing I should say about it is because it has this thing on the bottom of it if you're cutting a 48 inch piece of plywood like this one is all you have to do is find where you want to cut and then push it up against it and that'll keep you square um, because it sits up against the surface so we're gonna push it up against there and we're gonna make another cut and test it
All right, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel for more of these videos. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, feedback, suggestions, anything like that, feel free to comment below. I appreciate your time and have a good day. Thanks.